Morning. Day seven. Day seven. Yeah. Day seven. Yeah. Day seven. Yeah. Morning. Day seven. Physically being ill, I'm just. The day just started and it feels like I've had a shitty day, you know, a shitty 12 hour day at work or something. I mean, I literally just woke up not long ago. You know, well, I've kept it up since about six when my son decided, big ass 14 year old jumps in the bed and like, close to saying, uh, forget it, we're not going to put them on these pills. For what? And the side effect to these pills, you know, if they're not working or, um, or if you don't really need them, the side effect that these pills cause are further seizures. So the fuck? But, and it didn't take long, I was up for a little bit, and... My son's being the character that he is, and you know, of course he's in a better mood than the rest of us. And he's horsing around, and he says something to my daughter, and I said, "Well, you can't do that to her, you know, because you're a big brother. You, know, you don't do that." Some guy goofy teasing. He goes, well, "I'll do it to you." He said, "No, you won't." You know, just like that. And then my wife's hollering from the other room. Come on, guys, settle down, guys. And like that, you know, it went off. I'm like, guys, they don't settle down, guys. You don't yell at the two people being bothered because the one person bothering them, you yell at the person that's bothering the other two. Sorry, I spit everywhere. Don't tell me you settle down. Forget that you know our son is not the perfect little prince that we had always hoped he would be. Dude. I really had to put on a face because our elderly neighbor stopped me. First time she's ever really spoken to me. Well, second time she's really spoken to me in the years that we've been there. kind of helped diffuse things a bit because she was she asked about how uh, how my oldest daughter my oldest kid was doing out in Pittsburgh so that kind of that was like a pass <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get out the door a little earlier because I've got to dump some oil on my engine because the old girl's leaking talk. Oh, lady. You know. I'm standing there in my lunch box with one hand, coffee in the other. Big ass thing of water because gosh damn man, I feel like I'm dying. Uh, and a messenger bag full of 5W30. Now that I think about it, it's probably the wrong weight, but it's just the top of it off. And she wants to talk. No talkie. there for a reason and she was there for a reason so just sucks now I gotta fucking floor it to get to work on time sucks man Anytime 
something, I don't know. I don't care. I'll talk to you later. 